All right, busy weekend. Uh, Myra's off tonight. Jordan's here with a preview. Jordan. Hud, thank you very much. There's plenty to play for on the pitch this weekend at Centennial Stadium. Despite the fact that the Uvic Vikes men's CIS soccer season ended in November, Saturday might just be the highlight of their campaign. Bobby, Vancouver Whitecaps are coming to town. It's grown into an annual thing between the Vikes and the Caps, but it's a little different this year. In years past, the Whitecaps made this a part of their exhibition schedule, but this year they're in the thick of their MLS regular season. Now, Bruce Wilson and Bob Leonard Doozy started this thing back in 2006, and while it's highly unlikely that the Vikes will get a win, it's not like it hasn't happened before. The Vikes shocked the then USL Whitecaps in 2007. They got a draw in 2008 and lost last year 1-0. In that game, one of the Caps was issued a red card and they played the game with 10 men. Craig Gorman weighs in on the matchup and shows us why it's important to keep your head up even in practice. You know, if it happens again, we'll take it and take that open space, hopefully help us get a result. So you mean to say you, you actually got under their skin last year? I think a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> well done, Al. Don't worry about it, buddy. You hit Craig Gorman in the head from about 90 yards. You are dialed in tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Totally focused going into the big game on Saturday. <laughs> Them being in the middle of their season means they're going to be more prepared, more fit, and that just means we got to match it being more prepared than we ever have been before. It's just because uh, when you get a chance to play against a pro team, you know, you're so up for the game. I think your, your intensity coming into the game is, is so high that, you know, and especially with the work rate that, you know, we usually are able to bring, I think we're able to match their intensity, and I think that's why we've had success. I like Mitru's intensity. Tickets for this tilt are still available. Game time is set for 1 o'clock tomorrow. Vikes coach Bruce Wilson says the result is secondary to a strong showing, while the Whitecaps aren't expecting a walk in the park. Well, it's a good opportunity. We were there last year and we really enjoyed it. It was a great crowd that day. The stadium was pretty much full and uh, we brought a strong team and we'll do the same again. Um, there'll be a, a number of players that they'll be familiar with and um, I think it'll be an exciting game. We're certainly looking forward to it and, and taking it very seriously. Quite often when you're playing players like that, they're very difficult to play against. So it's a great chance for our players to play against the next level of opposition and they're excited, a little bit nervous, uh, as they should be, to be honest. The Victoria Royals are hoping to wrap up their regular season on a positive note this weekend with a home-and-home, home, uh, home-and-away, rather, series against the Albert Silvertips starting tonight at Save On Foods Memorial Centre. The Silvertips are clinging to the eighth and final playoff spot in the West and are desperate for wins. The Royals, though, are not without challenges of their own. They'll be playing this series without Captain Tyler Stahl and their top sniper Alex Gogolev, who are both still out with injuries. And after battling to get in the win column lately, the Royals know how important it is to stay focused on tonight's game. I think one win, you know, one win here in our last 15 games, that should, that, that should make sure guys are focused. What's critical for us is we have to get our game on track. We have to make sure the details in our game and, and uh, everything is in place. And, and it's, it's two games for us left as well. And, and we have to make sure that uh, we're rolling going into the playoffs. You know, these two games are going to kind of dictate how we're going to perform in playoffs, I think. And, uh, you know, we have to play uh, good structure, structurally and, uh, you know, have our minds in it right from the start. And then, uh, you know, that's going to be huge when we play Kamloops. This could be the Royals' last battle on Blanchard this season. They'll be calling Bear Mountain Arena home for the first round of the playoffs against the Kamloops Blazers. Comox Valley Glacier Kings got a massive road win in Game 5 of their series with an Anaimo Buccaneers last night. 7-4 was your final as the Kings scored six times on 25 shots plus an empty netter. They can win this thing at home tomorrow night. BCHL fans, your day has arrived. Playoffs get underway tonight as the Victoria Grizzlies host the Powell River Kings in Game 1 of their Coastal Conference quarterfinal. The Grizz haven't exactly charged into the postseason like the snarling, ornery club we saw most of the year. Six straight losses. That's a season high. Closed out their season. And the Grizz are starving for a victory. There's little margin for error in these playoffs, though. The first round is fast and unforgiving. A five-game series just... The first two um, is probably not very desirous by any a coach in our league, and you'd like to have a four or seven. So three or five um, is, uh, is, is challenging because we'll play potentially five games in six nights, and then the same thing in the next round if, if you're fortunate enough to win the first one. So, uh, you know, survival of the fittest, uh, and I hope we're fit enough to get through it. We'll find out. The puck drops at 7 o'clock. 
tonight at Bear Mountain Arena. We will have full highlights at 11 o'clock. Game one of the other Coastal Conference quarterfinal is set for seven tonight in Nanaimo. The Clippers host the Alberni Valley Bulldogs. Dogs have won two straight heading into the postseason. Clippers have lost two straight, but that all means nothing. Clean slate, and it's going to be a war, and we will have results tonight at 11. Results are exactly what the VIU men's basketball team is after at CCAA Nationals in St. Anne de Bellevue, Quebec. The Mariners got off to a sterling start yesterday in a 12-point upset of the country's number three ranked team from Red Deer College. That slotted them into tonight's semifinal game. And in that semi, the Mariners hit the floor against the second ranked Sheridan College Bruins from the greater Toronto area. Now, VIU are in the dark, everything's kind of dark, but uh, VIU in the dark jerseys, they got off to another good start in this one, worked their way to a 45-35 lead at half, and we are pleased to report they would hold on for an 80-76 win, another massive yeah. upset. The Mariners are on their way to the national final. That guarantees them a medal, either gold or silver. Hudson, it's been since, I think, 1994, uh, Malaspina won nationals on the men's side so go M's. good Unreal. for them yeah let's watch that final yeah jordy thank you All right. uh